Well, the rain backed off, so I could go ahead and finish the discussion here after getting back from the beach. And I think the, the reason I think this is such an awesome bike, although there are a few things that I'll nitpick on it, is that it is all name brand components. From the Royal Zell seat, to the Logan brakes, to the Kenda branded Juggernaut tires, to the KMC rust resistant chain, the Bafong 750 watt 85 newton meter motor it's just all put together really well even the rst suspension with 95 millimeters of travel is really helpful as you saw when i jumped up over that hill a key feature that i really enjoy is the fact that it's got eight gears on the shimano shifter and what that means is that as you move up into the different pedal assist levels you're not ghost pedaling you're not just moving your legs with no resistance. You've got that eighth gear to pick it up and go. In addition, I find a lot of time when I'm in pedal assist level one that the gears are plenty and I'm using zero watts shown here on the IPX6 waterproof level LCD display. And so that means that I can get probably even more range than the 30 to 70 miles that the uh, manufacturer advertises for this bike. One of the key features affecting the operability of the bike are the straight through mountain bike type handlebars. I find that when I'm in a rough patch, it's a lot easier to pull up or push down or turn without the having the motorcycle style that many other bikes in this class a, a, a feature. Now, one thing I've really got to point out here is the superior construction of this bike. You've seen on other bikes, you can see every single weld. Let me show you where the welds are on this bike. So, where are the welds? You're not seeing them on this bike because they've taken the time to smooth everything out and make this thing just a beautifully designed bike. Let's talk about the handlebars. One interesting feature about this bike is the throttle is removable. So if you want to use this as a class one bike, which is a bike with no throttle, you can take this off. Everything else is user adjustable and you can put things exactly where you want them. The mechanical disc brakes have nicely formed and ergonomic levers that will really make that 203 millimeter disc Logan brake system grab and stop you on a dime. So what's not to like about this bike? Well, again, it's nits. I would prefer a wider saddle because I'm an old guy with gray hair. But this is a mountain bike type saddle which is designed to help you maneuver the bike through the terrain when you're on a trail. The other thing that I wish they had done is in the design of the electronics down here, all the components are down here at the bottom. And to me, that means that if water gets in here it's all going to pool down here where you don't want it. I would have preferred to have all these connections up at the top where you wouldn't have that issue. And while we're speaking of electronics there although there is a tail light back here and it will turn on when you turn on the headlight it is not integrated with the braking system so you have to buy an induction uh, tail light or something like that if you would like that tail light to come on as the bike slows down and stops. Another nit is you notice that there are no fenders on the bike and at the price point of this bike again it's all name brand components so that's why it's a couple hundred bucks more than other bikes in this class and you know just look at the design features that we've already talked about in terms of how beautifully this bike is crafted but I would think that they'd be able to throw in a couple of 80 or 90 dollar fenders retail costs uh, with the price that this is going at. And, and here's a real nit. When you look here at the rack, there's no real hook where you can run a bungee and hook in back here in the back. Instead, you've got to wrap it around this part of the rear rack and then go over. The final nit is, although the display is beautiful, I wish that it were brighter. Unfortunately, there's no instructions in terms of how to go into the operating system 
and increase that. The only thing you can do is turn on the headlights and then that mimics darkness and it gets just a little bit brighter. I would want that more visible during the daytime. I don't think the perfect bike has ever been made, but this comes pretty close. It's beautiful, well-constructed, name brand components, massive power in that 750 watt, 85 Newton meter uh, power pack back here in the back wheel. It's just awesome. What are your thoughts? Have you tried this on the beach? I'm gonna go try it on the trails next, and I'm gonna have a great time.